Hi, today we'll make a traditional and very popular dish from my country called the pâté chinois that we can translate maybe by uh, Chinese pie. It's very similar to the French hache parmentier or the English uh, shepherd's pie. It's made of one layer of ground meat, one thin layer of uh, creamy corn, and one layer of uh, mashed potatoes. Let's start by the ground meat. We chop in small pieces uh, two medium onion and uh, four or five uh, garlic cloves. Afterwards, we cut our mushroom, about 225 grams, and we chop them as small as possible. After, in a mortar, we put one big tablespoon of uh, coriander seeds and one teaspoon of dill seeds, and we grind them uh, with uh, the pestle. We take our biggest pan or a Dutch oven. We will make our onion sweat a little in olive oil for some minutes at medium low heat until they become uh, translucent a little and we add the garlic that we make sweat to for about two minutes. Afterwards, we add the minced meat, air beef, about uh, 1.5 kilo. We up the heat to medium high. On my stove, about 6 on 10. During this process, I'll break my meat in little pieces. We let the meat cook a long time. The meat will release its water, and we want to let this water evaporate. We can see the meat water boiling. It's why we need a big pan or a cocot. I salt and pepper right now, but I could have waited a little. I will correct my seasoning later. We will air soon some kind of a crackling similar to a log burning in a campfire. We add the mushroom when the meat is dry and stick in our Dutch oven. The crackling will stop because of the water released by a mushroom. When the crackling starts again, we can add our 250 milliliters of uh, any tomato sauce or uh, passata. Here I simply uh, liquefied some uh, tomatoes in can with an uh, immersion blender. I had 200 milliliters of uh, good red wine. I had my grinded coriander and dill seeds. And I had a two shy half teaspoon of uh, ground cumin. Finally, I poured 400 uh, milliliters of uh, chicken stock. I prefer beef stock, but I have no more, so uh, I let the liquid reduce a lot, but not completely. When all is okay, I put my meat in my dish. If you got a good recipe for uh, ground beef of a shepherd's pie, you can use it for the pâté chinois. Everybody make this dish uh, like they want. We can add the layer of uh, creamy corn uh, on the meat. The industry translates uh, Blédin en crème by uh, cream-style corn. I hope you can find that in your country. Afterwards, for uh, the mashed potatoes, we pour 300 uh, milliliters of milk in a pan and we put 3 or 4 coarsely chopped uh, garlic cloves. We bring the meal to boil and let it cool down. The garlic will infuse the milk. After we peel about one kilo and a half of potatoes, air russet, and we cut them in the medium cubes. And in the salty water, I put my potatoes, and I turn on my stove at high heat. I let the potatoes boiling until they break easily under my knife, or until my knife penetrates the potatoes like soft butter. When they are cooked, we drain the potatoes. With a fork, a vegetable meal, or uh, like me, a potato ricer, we mash the potatoes. Afterwards, we add butters. I put only uh, 150 grams of uh, cultured butter. All kinds of butter are good. 
I mix, I pour my milk infused with garlic through a sieve uh, in my mashed potato and I mix uh, with a spoon. The quantities of salt and milk can vary according to your taste. There is no fixed quantity. Add them until the texture and the taste uh, please to you. Afterwards, we spread uh, the mashed potatoes on our mince and uh, creamy corn. Generally, people put their pâté chinois in the oven in order to make a crispy surface on the dish or for aesthetical purpose. Personally, I prefer my mashed potatoes soft and creamy like that, so... And uh, generally, I cook the meat and make the mashed potato in the same time, but for the clarity of the video, I prefer to cook one after the other. Thanks, et à la prochaine!